I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. We just finished up this 1952 Wurlitzer. We did a complete refurbish on it and we refinished it, made it look really, really nice. I find that, that there are actually a lot of people out there that, uh, that really, really like these pianos. These, these pianos that, that are so non-imposing, these spinets, they take up virtually no space and it just doesn't feel like, like a, a behemoth like this. It's just some people prefer that. And, uh, and they're not manufactured anymore. They haven't been manufactured for, for a few decades now. And so when we redo them like this, cosmetically, this piano is gorgeous. Why don't we get some shots of, of how this piano looks cosmetically? The finish is virtually perfect, if not perfect. I'm not going to say perfect, but it's, it's definitely A quality. The pedals here kind of in the shadows but uh, they're all polished up the casters the brass everything looks really nice we put new keys on there and new sharps also part of the whole cosmetic upgrade on this piano and then on the guts we did a full refurbish so so Basically, what, what we're doing on that, we start with, with cleaning it. All of these pianos, like this one, 70 years old, is going to be totally filthy inside. So we clean that very, very thoroughly. Reshape hammers, repin hammer butts, align everything, lubricate, uh, full regulation. So that's everything from, from leveling the keys to ensuring that the distance you can depress the key is the correct distance. Here we've got a, an action model. It's really, since we happen to be right here, it's really easy to see. So all of this stuff has to be functioning in just the right way. All of these, all of these components have to, have to work together in conjunction with each other in just the right way in order to give it the right touch. So for example, the distance that this, these hammers are to the strings, that's a very specific distance. The distance that that hammer right there it pulls away, looks like it's a little bit close on this action model. Looks like this is how I train my guys. So that's slightly on the close side. We should be about an eighth of an inch. But uh, anyway, there's, there's about a dozen or so different specs in there that have to be met in order for the, the touch to be correct and consistent from one note to the next. So all of that, all of that has been done on this piano and it's, it's just in great shape. So as far as longevity, I would give this piano another several decades with, without a doubt. So it, it has a really nice, easy touch, very, uh, very easy to be, to be just really soft and kind of gentle with it. And uh, um, as far as tone, tone is very even, it's pretty middle of the road. As far as voicing, not too bright, not too dark. And, uh, and then, and of course, like I mentioned a minute ago, longevity, we're good to go for, for another few decades. So great little piano, come check it out. We, we actually, we've got lots and lots of pianos. Let's do a quick 360. I see lots and lots of other pianos to choose from. But, uh, but I think if you're, if you're interested in kind of a mid-century piano that, uh, 
that is, like I said earlier in this video, very non-imposing. This, this one could be a, a really good option. Thanks for watching.